Hello! Raw potatoes taste terrible. Don't spend half an hour eating them. This has been valuable free life advice from Cheese. As we get back to uh, Canon Cars here, we got a bit of a sneak peek at Burger Plus in the package houses here, so let's get another one. I, I believe that's what this, yeah, that's what this uh, treasure stage is all about. We got Burger Bears going around here. I believe they're totally harmless. Yep. You can jump up through them and bash them too. Ooh, they even carry money for you. How polite. Oh, and it's important that you can bash them because that's the best way to get down in here. Get that dig pile? Yeah! And keep getting these gems somehow. Whoop. Sneak right in there. There's quite a flock here. Whoop. And there's also those... I haven't mentioned it, but all these jellyfish are tiny. How cute! Kinda try and keep up with the auto scroll here. Um here we go. It's fine if I leave a little bit behind. I'm mostly worried about staying safe. Yeah, not worth it. Just like that, we're back up to a pretty good wad of dough. Not that it was ever small, but anyway. We're gonna go through this drainage ship now, the final little area on the final path to the final area of Burda Bluffs. Starting with the Slippery Summit. Let's get Royal! On ice! Once we get up. Yeah, this level's all about ice physics, which means ice skating! King Knight, when he's on ice, every jump is a spinny jump, and he can't actually stay still. If you're facing a direction, you're going that direction. And quite likely bashing into walls at some point. Just the spinny jumps from the ice don't always do the aren't enough to do the ground sparks. You gotta make something in your jump. The ground sparks are one of those upgrades I don't appreciate nearly enough. Especially against like tundra tier that you can't do anything from above. The ground sparks have come in so very handy against them. Especially since you can't actually seem to use heirlooms while you're sliding around here, either. Just get that, and sneak down here for our first merit medal. But why stop at one? You can get two, one right after the other. Just as soon as this Tundra gets out of the way. Time ourselves well here. There we go. We'll use this guy as a springboard to get some nice loot. And here's that second one. Obviously the ice-covered walls are the ones you can't bounce off of here. And we don't need to deal with you, goodbye. Lots of dough on this screen. When I needed to grind money in the 100% file for more cards, this is where I would come. It's a nice, short, fun, easy level that's quite full of moolah. Checkpoints could be more lucrative, though, I guess. Oh well. Can't have everything. And here we've got these... Ice, iced over rails. Unlike the ones in Spectre Knight's campaign, you can go either direction, but you still can't stop drawing them. It still gives off some pretty solid Donkey Kong Country vibes. Wanna take the lower path here. For a merit medal. And let's turn around and get those gems we missed. I just love the ice physics in King Knight's campaign. They're, like, sliding through everything, so graceful and expressive and elegant. Whoa, that worked out somehow. Get you out of the way. Nobody likes Tundra making a mess of things. Um, which is exactly what you are. Hello. Goodbye. Wait, I should have. Whoops. Oh well, lost my chance with that gem. And that's it. Just a nice fun romp through some skating.
Onward to the other stage of the stran stranded ship, the Spinwolf Sanctuary. Yeah! This part of the stranded ship is the sort of intensity I know it for. This, the sort that makes me think of it as the final area, even though you get to choose your order. There are spikes everywhere to drop that you get drop snow on for safe passage. There's bumps in the walls all over the place. And most importantly, doggos! Yeah, some spin wolves are all over the place here. Just out of control. They can't stop for anything. I guess they've got the same sort of ice physics King Knight has. Must be fun. When I was going through the game without any upgrades, this was probably the hardest stage that I played under those conditions. Not only for not having things like the ground sparks, which are really helpful here, but also for only having four hearts. This is a very damage intense stage, which uh, doesn't bode well for me right now, but at least we're not at the hard part yet. Watch out for that bomb, and the passage it opens. Got a purple gold armor, or sumo armor here. Whoop. It's got that cloud to extend the super high jump they can do, but if you ask me, that kind of makes it easier. Just wait for that pup to come to you. No need to make things more dangerous than they need to be. Honestly, this whole side area looks scarier than it really is. Shouldn't have to worry too much about it. Now up this ladder here, that's where you're really in danger. Especially since that turkey there is the last health refill you'll get for a long time. Normally you'd be able to whack hearts out of enemies every three hits, but uh, from here on, enemies only have two health at most, so none for you. Cinder Wolves will stop spitting fire and go all spin with on you once you get close. If you get far enough away again, they'll go back to spitting, but you don't want that. The reason their cinders are reasonable in the first place is because they always go in a set arc from a set location, and you don't want that location to move. While they are like that, you can just sort of hang back, observe where the balls are going to land, and figure out where you're going to be safe to plan your next and plan your next moves accordingly. So like in this case, just stand here and let him sail over our heads. Now this next Cinder Wolf is in a very wise position and I, I don't like that. The only safe ground is exactly where the cinders land. Doing that without heirlooms, you're likely to take a hit or two. Sort of want to try and limit it to one. And we still don't have any health. Not even for facing these new types of cinder wolves. For this and the next short section, the cinder wolves will uh, alternate between spitting and chasing. There are bombs in the big blocks there, so if you can time it well, you can get past rather safely with even without using heirlooms. Not so much down here, there aren't bombs to help you, so I'm just gonna hope my confetti does the trick. Watch out for... don't... there we go. There is exactly one bomb there, and there it goes. From here on we get the normal variant of Spinwolves, which is better for me. Um, go away. I don't need you in existence. If you just keep doing that, that's fine. So yeah, they'll get... Ugh, okay, it's gone. With this one, I want to just trick it into coming down here. And then down into the pit. Goodbye, and now we finally have some health. Yeah, good luck getting through all that with no upgrades and only four health. Now we want to be very aware of um, maintaining the land. Don't let your spin break too much, and don't let the cinder woes break too much either. Get close to them fast and trick them into falling down the holes they create. Um. 
Oh, aren't you supposed to go backwards or something? Come on. Yeah, cancel your bounces at all times here. Come forward, please. There we go. Just gotta be careful there. But it's much more manageable than it looks. It was really the middle part of that that g gives you problems with that big old dearth of health pickups. There is a secret exit you gotta go for here, so... Long and hard as that was, we're not quite done yet. Now I'd love to dash through the rest of this level up to the split again, like usual, but this is not really a stage where you can go quickly. Like, there are a few places you can sort of skip ahead with the Scepter Swiftness here, I guess. <laughs> but it's dangerous. At least knowing where you're gonna end up helps a good bit. And being able to ignore side rooms like this one helps a lot, too. Come on. Yeah, against foes like the Cinderwolves, you want to take it reasonably paced, not like try and rush it or anything. Did you find where this pass splits the first time, by the way? You might have noticed it if you've got an eye for like this campaign's tricks by now. It's right here. May as well pick up this treasure since we're going to be right there anyway. And over the ceiling with us. Once again. Gotta love that chime. This side path feels a whole lot safer than the main path, despite the maneuvers I'm going to be doing here. It's more about dodging the cinders from the cinder woes than anything else. Most of them don't even come down for you. Some of them do, though. Now this one, you do have to go under. Ignore those gems. Mm. Dangerous. Are you gonna... Yeah, you're gonna... Pounce down. The first time I came here, I... Actually was completely unaware of what they were going for. I got caught up doing something or other way at the start of this, and uh, completely let that platform pass me by, like, go to the end and leave me behind. Still somehow made it through on my first try, which only, like, the bubble frog gets you everywhere you need to be. Hey, there's Polar Knight. He's guarding that chest. Alright. That would be a decent reward, and you can see with the secret path there, we skip straight to the end of... Like, the foot of Birder Bluffs. Get all the rest of the levels that weren't the str in the Stranded Ship. That might be what the guy in the House of Justice was talking about. We'll get the gold from that chest just as soon as we're done breaking into Polar Knight's ship here. He's a good sight more talkative with his animal friends around. Oh, King Knight. You were so close to having one endearing character trait and you blow it like that. By having opinions on people's pets. Oh, alright, if we play with them by fighting, that's fine by me, though I can't promise it'll last too long. Polar Knight has some nasty hitbox issues when he's moving around, so I'm gonna try and work around that. Second time he stomps, he's gonna uh, bring the house down, and with it some spin wolves. Whoop! Gonna try and hit him with some rats from here. He'll eventually try and crash the pillars down. And let's just finish him off. We got projectiles too, dude! Haha! -ha. The only, like, none of it is actually threatening aside from being close to him and attacking him. He can, like, bop you away when you're above him, but, like, he's supposed to do that. He can also just sometimes hit you while he's moving around. Sometimes, all of a sudden, he'll swipe a shovel at you when 
you're just landing from getting down from on top of him. He sometimes feels like he's being really nasty. And actually, we've maxed out our money, so let's spend some stuff before we not spend stuff. Before we buy things. Hey? The bard has a new wrist for us for our 100th merit medal. And some useless gold that we'll just toss aboard, like overboard. You say that, but you're on the. <laughs> you're on an airship! Cooper's right there, dude! I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Think it's about the Burger Bluffs? What is there to spend money on? Well... <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever spoken to him while we were in the... the, uh, like, stranded ship area. He doesn't like the cold, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and purchase one of Mr. Hat's ridiculous wonders. Well, I think my favorite thing would be to get go out my joust deck. I like my joust deck. And why not? Let's go ahead and get some silver plating for the glide wing. Admire from the outside now. So yeah, it's blue walls and silver coating on like all the walls that aren't in the background. It's a rather nice overhaul. You can also get gold plating, but that turns all the blue into green, and I don't like that nearly as much. There's our friend. Let's round out our time in the uh, stranded ship area with a bit of a, um... With a bit of a joust match. It's been short so far. Or, it's been a short thing, we've got time for this. Polar Knight's got a really interesting, uh, arena, and some interesting cards to go with it. Lots of downwards, lots of conveyors, too. Let's try and... not know what we're doing, but also let's try and know what we're doing. Hmm. There's potential here. I don't know what his plans are, but let's interfere with him. Yeah! Ooh, he's got a bashy sort of card. Hopefully it stays there and doesn't fall in a pit. Oh, the graveyard holes are all pits, so... It didn't really register that there was something interesting about that. Can I, like, no? I fear for my... Uh, gem there. It's gonna be pushed down. But then it can be pushed down again, I'm sure. Indeed. And then to be pushed to the side is doom, but also unlikely since that will never happen. Not with those cards of his. Oh, it's about to, but now it's not about to. And he can't move me away from there. Ooh. Good game, Polar Knight. Much better than <laughs> the one we just had in the actual fight. Thank you for the game and the card. And we can see the lining there. The special backs are visible there, and you can sort of see the outer edge of the gold on the front of the card, too. Polar Knight's card looks like it could be pretty good. I still want at least the one graveyard card. I'm very eager to replace it, but 
with nothing so far. Um, let's replace my sign dagger. Let's replace Oolong. I have no real idea what I'm what I'm doing anyway. So any change is a change, and a change is a good change. In-flight renovations must be something else. Although it's amusing that the silver plating decided not to patch the hull, but to make the planks of wood over the hull also made out of silver. <laughs> he doesn't seem to have any stories ready for us tonight. He's too impressed by the ship. Oh well. And with that, we've got an ice house to visit. If I'm correct, I should use up a decree right now because I'm about to get another. I have. So apparently, should Horzio wish to... Ooh, that's a lot of money to go with our decree. Yeah, should we return to Horzio and ask him to suplex us, us into the abyss again? Um, we we can turn on a, a degree of rejuviation beforehand and have some have it go a little bit differently. I'd rather keep my decrees while I have them, though. I'll use them. I'll go ahead and show that later if I re remember to. Anyway, we're all we have left is officially the Bird of Bluffs. See you for that next time. Till then, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one a whole bunch. Lots of lots of danger in the stranded ship, but I managed to get through it in the end. I th and some pretty fun stages too. I'm just talking at this point. See ya. Have a good day. You know?